Hello friends, my name is Kisan and welcome you in this video tutorial. Uh, in this video tutorial, we are going to discuss about the uh, one of the enhancement in zip file class in Java 8. So here is the Eclipse. Let's press Ctrl Shift T and try to search zip file. Zip file, and here is the class which belongs to the Java dot util dot zip package. And here, if you press Ctrl F and try to search by typing 1.8, then you'll see here is the 1.8. So this API belongs to a zip file from uh, JDK 1.8 onwards, right? So <coughs> in this video tutorial, so this is the only one method which is added in JDK 1.8 in this class. So we'll talk about this method and we'll see hands-on uh, as well. So uh, you can see the Java doc saying that return an ordered stream over the zip file entries. Entries appear in the stream in order they appear in central directory of the zip file, right? So basically this will read the all directory as well as if you have a file inside the directory in the zip uh, folder or directory then you can read in ordered way uh, return what we can see what is the returning return of this api and ordered a stream of entries in the zip file uh, this api throws illegal state exception if zip file has not been closed right so if you get the zip file object then you need to close it so, okay so here is the project I have created zip file stream demo and here I am going to show you how to make use of this API. Okay. So to make this demo I required one directory. So here I have created a directory my folder one and inside this directory I have created three txt uh, folder right text folder. So you can see content of this folder I have kept some content in this uh, test file one test file two and test file three similarly i have another folder inside this folder is called my folder two and here i have kept uh, three files with some content right so what i'll do i'll make a g file of this folder let's make a g and this g i'm going to copy and paste in this project itself okay so now my um, main target is to read this directory uh, as well as a sub directory and uh, all folder uh, all files inside this directory and as well as content okay so how we can do that so let's start with the zip file class so you have a zip file class right and what i'll do zip file the object i'm going to create uh, uh, as a try with resource so that i don't want to close this resource inside the file level log so this is one of the uh, java 7 feature so zip file zip file equal to new zip file and here you will have to specify the file name so file name this file or this directory we have kept inside the uh, project itself so you don't need to specify the absolute path instead directly you can specify the your uh, file name that is uh, my folder 1.g 1.g one okay now if any exception is arises then i would like to print a stack trace in catch block now we can make use of this this resource inside the try so so this g file has a method is called a stream which we want to see in this video tutorial and you can see the return type of this a stream method is returning uh, a, st a stream of zip entry and this returns you uh, a stream itself right 
so what I can do in this stream you can call uh, any method right like uh, I would like to call for each loop and first of all I would like to print I mean uh, all directory and folders name or you can say all directory or files name so uh, we can make use of the uh, sorry so here I was supposed to use for each loop not um, yeah so here you can specify your consumer object uh, in terms of method reference okay so this is going to print you all directory as well as folder all directory as well as files name so you can see so this displayed I mean all folders or directory as well as uh, files in ordered manner so you can see first if we had a my folder so that directory is getting printed inside the my folder one we have a my folder two so this is getting printed and in my folder two we have a three files right so all three files name is getting printed again that once that is done with the inside the my folder two then uh, that goes to the one level up and uh, my folder one we have a three uh, text file so those name is also getting printed so i hope you understood how to print the uh, name of all directory as well as uh, files inside that right so there are the huge cases of this now what I, i'll do my agenda is to now uh, read data from these files right so here this g file has a method is called get input stream uh, sorry entries which returns you a uh, enumeration of g pantry now here this returns you enumeration of g pantry so we can apply a uh, while loop and here this will return uh, of every object of entry and entry you can <coughs> sorry and uh, here you can say directory and file name you can say and that I will print it over here dot get name and now entry has a method is called let me make the full screen size method is called get sorry so now let's make use of again zip file zip file has a method is called get input stream which uh, takes zip entry object so here we are getting the zip entry object and that we are going to pass it over here now this guy is going to return us input stream right now here i'm going to use buffer reader buffer reader buffer reader to new sorry buffer reader and here i'm going to pass i'm going to use this constructor so here i'm going to pass new input stream reader and or directly we can take single parameter so new input stream reader so this here i'm going to pass it and here cat set i'm going to pass cat set cat set as a method is called for name and cat set type i'm going to pass utf8 okay now now let's see what are the methods are available in buffer reader so earlier video tutorial we have discussed about the one of the method in buffer reader is called lines which returns you the uh, stream of a string itself and why i am using this method because if you if you find any api which returns a stream of something then that would be very faster that's why i'm using a stream 
now if you got the stream then you can apply the for each loop right so here i'm going to use for each loop so we can copy and paste right and here we are going to apply this now let's I want to separate content of different files from this marker if I run it then let's see what output we are getting so see what output I am getting so if I can show you the console then this is already we have discussed from first SOP itself right so this line of code is responsible to print this directory as well as file names now uh, here we have another SOP there we are uh, just printing the directory as well as file name so saying the directory and file name my directory then again directory and file name my directory inside uh, my folder 1 inside that my folder 2 so that is getting printed now once directory is getting printed then that is looking for the files inside the directory so saying that directory and file name my folder 1 inside the my folder 2 we have a three files right test 1 so content of test 1 is getting printed again content of test 2 is getting printed within the same directory and test 3 dot txt content is also getting printed in the same directory now that will move one step up uh, in the tree right tree structure because files are basically represented in the file uh, tree structure right so that again uh, went to the one layer up and that went to the my folder one and there is a txt test dot one so that content is getting printed again within the same directory test two dot txt content is getting printed and test three uh, txt content is getting printed in that way if you have a if your g file contains lot of directory and in different directory if you have a different folders then you can read those content in one shot using this stream api so I hope you enjoyed learning this video and uh, this code I am going to uh, put on the github and github location I will uh, specify in the video description part itself. So thanks for watching this video and if you like uh, my video then please subscribe my youtube channel and see you next video tutorial.